Okay, so we'll look around this uh, either late 2007 or early 2008 Land Rover Defender 90 TDCI XS station wagon. <coughs> Excuse me. Finished in Cairns blue metallic, which is uh, quite an unusual uh, an unusual colour for these. Um, proper Land Rover colour though, uh, and actually looks really really nice in my opinion. Cairns blue metallic with uh, black sawtooth wheels and uh, anthracite interior, four seater interior with the um, correct station wagon forward facing rear seats. This one's been, uh, <coughs> excuse me, subtly uprated over the years um, with a matching set of uh, BF Goodrich um, all-terrain tyres on the sawtooth alloys. We'll have a look at the spare in a minute. I think that's also a BFG on a, on a sawtooth. Um, it's got LED side lights and indicators on the front and daylight running lights in the front bumper and they all light up. KBX grille and KBX light surrounds and also KBX vent there and not a KBX vent on the top though however. Um, proper excess side steps, it's also got black checker plate on the uh, wing tops, the modesty covers and the rear quarters. Um, it's got dark tinted rear windows on it and alpine lights. Around the tail end, yes it's a BFG on a sawtooth as a spare, so matching set of five. Uh, it's got mud flaps all round, it's got rear step, adjustable tow pack, LED lights all round actually, um, stop lights, indicators, reversing light, rear fog light, all LEDs. So that's its spec and inside, uh, basically standard spec except it's got a, uh, a nice Momo sports steering wheel. Uh, it's got uh, Mud UK seat lifters on both front seats uh, which do give a little bit of extra room. Although this one is being in excess, it's had the, uh, the bulkhead removed between the seats uh, at the factory. It's also got air con, heated seats, standard excess spec basically with the uh, is that an Alpine stereo? I think the standard spec one is Alpine. Yes, Alpine stereo system there. Um, I'd say rather nice in my opinion. I can say it does look rather good in uh, in Cairns blue. Let's go around and pick out some good bits and bad bits. Not much in the way of bad bits, it's fair to say. Uh, what can we find on the bonnet? You can't really see it in this light, but under har our harsh fluorescent lights in our showroom, let's move my shadow out of the way. There's a slight, slight swirl in the bonnet about there, almost looks as if it's been polished a bit too hard. But you can't see it in daylight like this. You can only see it under um, under harsh lights. Small, there's a scratch just there in the bonnet, and there's a blemish just there above the above the uh, the third E on the uh, on on the defender bit blemish just there otherwise a little bit of stone chipping around the front end as you'd expect looking down the near side looks as straight as a defender ever does um, down the near side as always very slightly ripply but that's how they come from the factory got a scratch there on the front of the um, the near side front wing just between there and there see that in the video um, it's got the heated screen in it, and the screen itself looks to be in pretty good shape. That slight chip there, no, it's just a bit of dirt. Um, scuffle corners, screen rubber, screen blocks all look good. You wouldn't expect, you know, we're going to go over this as if it was an old one, but um, you wouldn't expect too many issues with it. A post is all as it should be. Passenger door is all as it should be. Roof is nice. As always, losing a little bit of paint just up here on the guttering. They didn't finish them particularly well. Um, in here, standard excess interior basically, so half leather interior with heated seats, centre cubby, cubby box, it's got mats covering up the original carpets. Um, headlining is all as it should be, just starting to bow very slightly in the middle again as they always do, uh, but otherwise all the proper excess station wagon trim is all there. The seats look to be in very good order front and back. Uh, it's got the later style doors on it, so we don't need to worry about things like rusty door frames because the later ones don't, simple as that. Um, we've got a little bit of electrolytic reaction just coming up there on the edge of the, um, the van side. But that's really about it in terms of that. Down, sorry, down this side, all looks good along and down there. Around the tail end. All looks as it should for a late 2007 one. 
In the back here we folded one of the seats up, the left hand one is folded in its folding position, the right hand one is in its position to use as a seat. So you can see it's all correct in there, the jack's all in that bag. Uh, again matted in the back, although carpet's underneath the matting. Carrying on round, um, down the offside again, very very straight, tidy, clean. No nasties to report at all along there, it's all very good. Um, offside door, again all as it should be, just got a couple, small blemish in the paint just there. Looks like a little, uh, little blemish in the paint, probably from probably been there from the factory in fairness. Um, well that may have had a bit of paint work. Offside front wing, all looks very good, we've got a slight scratch just here on the wheel arch eyebrow and a very slight depression just here and a couple of tiny scratches just here on the front of the offside front wing. Another small mark just there. Um, go back to inside, try not to cover up the lens on my thumb. thumb. Uh, driver's door card all good, driver's seat is all as it should be, so nice Momo steering wheel. There we have it, not much more I can say. She's, uh, she's a nice TBCI with uh, low mileage, I think it's almost done just over 50,000 for many. In an unusual but really nice colour. Often see Range Rovers in this colour, but uh, I think it's the first time I've seen a Defender in this colour. Anyway, my name is Simon, you can reach me in the office on 0118 907 1495, or you can go to our website which is www.motodrome.com dot co dot uk for any further information and